It just started out as a regular day. Who knew I was going to be catapulted in a situation you only see in the movies? I recently met a new girl and we began dating. One afternoon we were having a discussion and the topic of God had come up. She was a strong believer and she was investigating how deep my belief was. Though I did not attend church on a regular basis, read my Bible, or pray often, I never discounted the idea of a higher power. I never took a hardline atheist view. I never said, I don't believe in God. I always kept an open mind. My position was, it's a big universe, and I certainly don't claim to have it all figured out. At one point in the conversation, I got a little frustrated and literally blurted this statement out loud. Okay, God, if you're real, then show yourself. That caught my girlfriend by surprise. With a slight grin on the side of her mouth, she said to me, well, you better be careful what you wish for. So that moment passed and things went on between us as usual. The next morning when I woke up, little did I know it would be a day that would change my life forever. When I awoke, I was sick, not flu sick, but my stomach was very upset. For some odd reason, I was very ill. I hadn't eaten anything strange, and for the life of me, I could not figure it out. I was slotted to go into work that day, but I ended up calling in. Later on, my girlfriend dropped by to hang out with me and help me overcome the weird sickness. An hour or two later, around noon, I was feeling somewhat better, and she made a suggestion. She was bored and said, well, if we're just gonna sit here, how about we just go sit on the beach? Maybe the fresh air will help you make you feel better. I was semi-reluctant to do the ride to the beach, but I agreed and off we went. We finally arrived at the beach and set up our chairs and sat down. After a while, my girlfriend made yet another suggestion. She asked me if I wanted to go for a walk. Again, I was semi-reluctant to go for a walk but I was feeling a little better and didn't want her to be bored at the beach, so I agreed and off we went. I had no clue that in a few moments my world would change forever. We were having a nice walk, talking and just enjoying each other's company. All of a sudden I noticed something in the distance, down the beach. It appeared to be somebody running towards us. I didn't pay much attention, plenty of people run on the beach. But after a few moments of walking and talking, I focused on this person again. This time I could make out much more. It appeared to be a woman fully clothed, waving her hands above her head and yelling for help. My girlfriend noticed this time. I felt something was wrong, so I began to run toward her. When I got to her, she was frantic. She was hysterical and did not speak English. After a few tense moments, I picked up what she was saying. I looked past her and looked at her and looked past her. Her child had swam out into the channel and could not get back in. I literally took off and sprinted toward the family that was at the water's edge down the beach. None of them could swim. They were all just standing there terrified and helpless. I, on the other hand, could swim very well and knew what I had to do. So I tore off my shirt, threw my sunglasses down, and began to sprint swim to where the boy was. When I got to him is when I realized that he was so weak, he was literally going under the water. That's when things got real. The situation took on a whole different urgency when I saw this. Though it was a struggle and one of the hardest things I've ever done, I managed to keep him above water and swim him back to shore. The family was beyond relieved. The woman's tears of fear turned into tears of joy as she hugged me and repeatedly called me her angel in Spanish. I was spent. Once I got up onto the beach, I just collapsed. My heart rate was off the chart. My girlfriend kept telling me how much she was proud of me. And a lifeguard truck finally showed up and whisked the boy off to the hospital, we would assume. When they all cleared out, my girlfriend and I were the only ones left in the area. We just laid there trying to comprehend what had just took place and calmed down. We finally decided it was time to make it back to the car. So we were walking back, talking about everything. And my girlfriend decided she had to go to the bathroom. So I just stayed on the beach and she went over the dune. Now this is where things get a little strange. I turned around, looking at the water and waiting. It seemed very quiet all of a sudden. I remember the sky was blue with puffy little clouds. 
and I felt overcome with emotions and just dropped to my knees in the sand and began to cry. At this moment, a thought popped into my head. It was like a voice said to me, well, you wanted God to show himself, didn't you? I couldn't believe that thought just popped into my head and made me almost cry more. My girlfriend returned to me and noticed I was upset. She asked me what was wrong and I just brushed it off and said, I'll tell you later. We finally got back home and life continued on. She and I talked about it often. I thought about that event for weeks, replaying what happened over and over. I tried so hard to figure it out. How was that God? What did it all mean? I kept wanting an answer. God showed himself, but how was that? I just didn't make a connection. A short time later, a friend of my girlfriend came to our house to say hello. He happened to be a pastor. I told him the story and how I asked God to show himself, etc. He looked at me with this look of reassurance. He knew the answer. He said to me, Neil, that was God. He said, you needed a sign, didn't you? I said, yeah. He said, God spoke in parables and you just lived one. The pastor is about to speak the words that I've been waiting for. He said, when you cried out to God to show himself, God showed you that he will save you like you saved that drowning boy. The boy was you, Neil. You were drowning. God will rescue you from death just as you rescued the boy. My mind was blown. I cried. It all made perfect sense to me. I could not believe that the answer came so easy to him. My world from that day changed. I started going to church with my girlfriend. I developed a desire to know more about God. God used to be something I thought about from time to time. Now it was a daily thing. I could not deny that I yelled out in frustration. I could not deny I was strangely sick that morning and called into work. I could not deny saving a 12-year-old boy from drowning. And I could not deny the fact I cried out for an answer for weeks. I also could not deny that a pastor of all people came into my own living room and gave me the answer I so desperately wanted. I also realized later that this whole episode was not of my doing. It was not my idea to go to the beach that day. It was my girlfriend's. It was not my idea to go for a walk when we were at the beach. That was my girlfriend's also. And it was my girlfriend's longtime pastor friend that just happened to stop by and give me the answer I was looking for. I was the hero for that drowning boy and his family that day. But the real hero in all this is God. He heard me cry out that day. He uses people. He worked through my girlfriend. It was an experience I will never forget. And I think God wanted it that way.